The church had made mistakes in the past. The church had mistaken certain individuals as the Antichrist. Some people in the church had set dates of the day of the coming of Jesus Christ. Those days have come, came and passed by. So as a result, people are just weary of hearing anything about Jesus' second coming because the way it's been presented has caused a lot of confusion. Some people have been told in their churches, quit your job, go home. On this day, Jesus will come. They quit their jobs, closed down their businesses, went home and stayed home. And to their shock, the day came and went, and Jesus didn't come, and the leaders changed the date. And the people foolishly responded again. So we have those in the history of the church. We have such terrible antecedents in the history of the body of Christ. But those antecedents, as bad as they were, are not the scripture. They were misunderstandings of scripture. For instance, Napoleon Bonaparte was called the Antichrist. The church thought he was the Antichrist because he was conquering all over Europe. Then he came and died. Mussolini of Italy got up and they said, oh, the Antichrist will be from Rome. Somebody has risen from Rome. Look at Mussolini. Mussolini was hung in the public square in Italy. And then the Hitler came up, the Führer of Germany came up, and then the church shouted, eh hey, this is the real Antichrist. And Hitler lost the Second World War and fled to Argentina where he died. Before all of these people, there was someone else in history called Charlemagne who tried to reunite the whole of Europe together, unite Europe together under the Catholic Church, and the Pope empowered him. And in those days, the Bible teachers of those days called him the Antichrist. So because of all these things, believers are tired of hearing about the the second coming of Christ. I think we should be tired of hearing about the Antichrist because Jesus didn't tell us to look for the Antichrist. He told us to look for him, to look forward to his appearing, not to look forward to the Antichrist. We've made the mistake of focusing on the Antichrist. We've made the mistake of trying to find out who the Antichrist is. Whoever he is, we don't care. We don't give a boo who he is. Pardon the expression, please. I'm kind of almost getting angry right now. Who cares who the Antichrist is? Moreover, we're not expected to know who he is. There's no scripture that tells us that uh, we should watch out for who he is. No, he will not even be manifested while we're here. It's only when we are gone the guy will come out. Because if he comes out now, we can kill him on our knees. We can give him, give him paralysis. We give him high blood pressure and heart attack on our knees. So we're not supposed to be looking for the Antichrist. We're supposed to be looking for Jesus Christ. Can I get a strong amen? amen? That's what the scripture tells us to do. We have to watch for his appearing. He's the appearing of the master, not the appearing of the Antichrist. So the church has made mistakes by looking for who the Antichrist is. There's no scripture that told us to look for him. Hallelujah. We just study him to understand because he's in the scripture. We just want to know what scripture says about him. But he didn't, there's no scripture that encouraged us to start looking for him. No. We are told to watch for the master. And the master is coming in our lifetime. Hallelujah. The Super Church. A shining light to the nation.